Hello and welcome to our last semi-final for, for Season 5. I think my mic's quite low. Should be alright. Let's see. Uh, we'll find out. Um, yeah, so this is uh, Humans Against Undead. So Humans finished with 133 record and Undead with a 0 2 5. Um, I think... I can't remember who this win was against. This was either a win or for, for the Humans or a draw in that game. I can't remember who the Humans won win came against now. Um, but anyway, it is fifth place eighth um, for for this semi final. It's the last one we've got, and uh, yeah, let's have a look at how this one went before we start looking at finals. And it's a slow load. Yeah, that was, was quite a slow load, but uh, uh, we've got some rain, not for the first time uh, in these semi finals. We'll have a look at how these teams set up. And how the toss went and stuff like that. Slow, slow, right. So humans are defending. Uh, that was the undead's choice. So let's have a look at them. Right, so humans have got there's three unleveled linemen on the line of scrimmage. Uh, one bench of one, which is a catcher at the moment. So a catcher is being saved for uh, for offense. Oh, in fact, they've got. Oh, they've taken catches out. Uh, the throw it out rather to play two catches, which is perhaps unorthodox, uh, but that's what the, but that's what we've got. Um, then they're four blitzers, like the engine room of the human team. So one of them's unleveled. Uh, we've got one with mighty blow, two with mighty blow, who's got an agility penalty, and then a tackle one. There's a tackle lineman here as well. Ogre has block and guard, so he's a good ogre. These two catches both unleveled. Um, I think as particularly with the rain as well, having sure hands available on the pitch could be really useful. Um, and just another strength free body for defence. Uh, ah, the rain has gone away though uh, with the first kickoff. Um, so I was going to say as well, like the decision to attack, like we flagged this up I think a couple of times this season, the decision to attack when it's raining is perhaps not the best. Um, like give make make the other team deal with the ball while it's while it's raining. Hope the weather changes later. Obviously, it changed straight away, so it hasn't hasn't mattered. Um, but that is uh, usually what you do. Um, so leading off with the mummy. Again, this is just going to be two dice. It's quite risky. You've got some block players who could be in here to op make these opening blocks and then try and get one of your mummies three dice, maybe both of them. Uh, so if this guard mummy's in the middle, that's an assist straight away. And then a player in there. This mummy's got three dice. And then you're looking at a white, or this block's block, is it a zombie? Yep, yeah. in this space. Uh, and that's a two dice block with block. And then the final mummy with guard standing there. These two players aren't there anymore. You've got two assists. You've got three dice on that one. It's, it's, it's a much safer way to set up these opening blocks and the line of scrimmage. And then you've got one of your blitzers to go, to go through a block. And because there's no cover here, this is quite a good blitz target. You get an assist in that space. White comes and blitzes there, and see if you knock it down. Uh, and the white doing it is safer because they've got block. Anyway, let's look at the team. We've got the icons back quickly. Let's do it. So two unleveled whites, unleveled skeleton, two unleveled skeletons, two unleveled zombies, a block zombie. Both of these ghouls have block. One also has movement eight. Uh, two unleveled zombies and an unleveled skeleton on the bench, uh, and they're off. So mummy grabs the pushback. <coughs> Um, not only safer to take three dice with them, but there's more chance of knocking them over as well. Um, like a much higher chance of getting a knockdown with that third dice. Um, as it is, we've got we've got two pushes. We've got no block players hitting anyone yet. They should be getting stuck in. Um, that is a knockdown there though, and a knockdown for the mummy, uh, and an injury and a level for that mummy. Uh, it's gone from four points to six with that. So miss next game on a, an unleveled lineman. And Gore has the ball. He's a good scoring candidate. So is it a, oh, vanity pass there, or is this a handoff? I think it's just a handoff. Um, on the f yeah, so he's good. Yeah, this would be this white. If this white can either keep hitting people, this white, or get him a touchdown, so he levels. Going and engaging there. Um, where are they going to blitz? There's no assist there for if they're going to be blitzing. Kind of collapsing in on this. Yeah. So this is going to be one dice if this white blitzes. Uh, ball's gone over there. 
yeah, no blitz. So yeah, could have had the um, yeah this white who was over here and another guy go just go hit that one because that's giving away yeah two dice on both of these and that's with a mighty blow player as well. It was unnecessary to go and mark there because all they're going to do is hit them. Um, it was regenerated, but it's points for the blitzer and this tackle lineman could have a go as well. That's just a push there. So it follows up there. That that's zo uh, it's a zombie, sorry, not a skeleton. But that's that's just taken out of the game now. It reduces the undead players by one, and they just lost one from an injury too. So it's ten plays ten at the moment, and then this this is not a factor in the game. So ogre coming in there to start getting towards the ball carrier. I've got to do something about this. Ready before rolling any more dice or any dice at all. Okay, blitz him with the mummy on the ogre. Okay, it does move the guard out of the way. Um, but as it is, the this ghoul has to dodge away from tackle. Um, that was a misnet's game on the ogre. So this um, this mummy on a rampage, two casualties in two turns, and gets the ogre off the pitch. So. Undead are a player up and there's no ogre on the human team. This is looking a really good drive for them, but they're risking everything by not getting this ghoul away. Uh, fortunately, hadn't used the team reroll. But it didn't matter, failed anyway. Um, really, their blitz should have been dealing with this. Um, you've got to get rid of that guy. The ghoul was an assist. You've got this skeleton here who can reach. Um, you just need to push him back. It's much, much more likely. You've got to get that tackle away from your, your goal. Okay, let's try to pick that off. Um, freeze this, this player up. One dice on the white. One dice on the bubby. Can maybe move this guy in first. That's got it down anyway with the reroll. But this, ah, uh, go for the foul on the mummy. Okay, so this mummy has uh, been terrorising them for two turns. Uh, and, ah, oh, that's the sending off. No, double one, ah, uh, double one on the armour roll. Not even a stun uh, gets sent off. So not a good exchange. Um, <clears throat> so that's them down by another play. It's ten plays eight at the moment, I think, isn't it? And they do need the ball back. Got this this goal who's a bit deep at the moment and isn't involved in the game should probably be coming to pick the ball up any minute now. And they're letting that go. So not a good scatter for the undead at all. There, it's gone to the only bad spot really. Although here here wouldn't have been great because humans might have been able to grab that ball. But so you can look at two dice there. There's a double skulls, and then gets the white down. So he puts a tackle on both of the ghouls, but that guy is going to get hit. Still blitzing this this zombie. So I said this zombie's not a factor in the game. He's just distracting the humans, though. So maybe doing a fair amount of work. I uh, kind of didn't see that coming. That this is just just going to be. Uh, a big distraction to take the human's focus away from what's going on. Uh, not many human players left. Okay, so blitz him with the mummy again. And only on two dice. Okay. So it doesn't get that tackle zone off the ball. Um, going for the 4 plus pickup, so this is the last reroll for the undead. Uh, have the ball again, and then hand it off. Yeah, there's a dodge away from tackle, so I suppose if you foul the hand off, you're not going to fall over and take an armor roll. Um, and now they need to screen effectively over here, maybe move the ball over this way. This 
place. Doesn't look very safe. Okay, a little bit safer. And uh, yeah, it's a straight two plus. So they've got a three plus with a reroll for two dice uphill. Which is not amazing. Uh, trying to dodge with a blitzer. Is that? So he's coming there. Oh, that's a blitz. Okay. Just free up to catch her, so I can get a couple of markers on here. <clears throat> and that's another foul dodge. Uh, where was that? It's over here somewhere. That one. What have they got on here? So Okay, mummy on three dice. Gets a badly hurt catcher. We can skip that. Um, but just looking at what they've got here. So that's another block of throne, which it's been alright. So I kind of need to, if he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't score this turn if he goes that way. Kind of needs to move through there. Was there a tackle on one of these? No, not the catcher. Feel like that's got to be the blitz. I think this this has to be the blitz through there. And then you just dodge that way. Then maybe score this turn if you want to. I'm not sure they're going to hold off much here. Uh, Humans are already going to get two players back. That's that's got to be high priority in this as well. And these have been okay, but no rerolls. Either of those could have been turnovers. It's a three dice and a two with two with block, and then but then a two without block from the mummy. I think, yeah, your first action is that blitz on this guy. Don't need that assist as well, because this one's already there. Blitz in the catcher, who's not as in the way as this blitzer is. This blitz is the one who's forcing you to go backwards. And they're just going to block the blitzer, okay. So you don't follow, because you're leaving yourself marked. And both the whites can hit people. Done safe. I think this school needs to get forwards to help out. Not sure what he's adding there. So humans, can I can take that assist out. Probably dodge this catch around here. Take that assist out, and it's one dice on the ball. Uh, I've got no guard player. They can stick in here. There you go, it's both assist cancelled and that's just one dice on the ball, which is available. Um, he's a block and dodge player, so it's 186 for the knockdown. Just a push. One dice there. That's a blitz, uh, if that's just that it was the last player, but uh, yeah, might as well blitz. Okay, get rid of that. Now I think your blitz there, maybe pop it in. Oh, okay, didn't need the blitz. Handing off to the quick one. You can just go score now, that's a turnover though. Oh, is it a bit, ex bit exposed there, maybe? It means this blitzer will need to dodge and come round. Catcher should probably have been in that space instead, so leave this space available for the blitzer. Okay, this one's blitzing instead. Uh, is, oh, is this the tackle lineman? No, it's not. It's just a normal lineman, so it's just a push. Uh, blitzer dodges away, and... Gould is in trouble. Not touch there, no rerolls for anyone. Uh, I think that was down this way, wasn't it? It's from, away from a white. Uh, right, so yeah, stand him up. You've got players here who are not doing anything. They need to go over here so they can be effective next turn if they're needed. No dice for those, so just get them over there. Probably this white as well. Get him over here so he can do something next turn. 
Um, I suppose unless you really want two dice there, but I mean, yeah, this this white's going to be more valuable up here. And then you need to start getting rid of these, and it's probably this guy blitz in there, because if you get a pushback, um, you've got a three plus out with a reroll. It's just this this one that's in the way. That's probably got to be the blitz from this skeleton. Let's see what happened. Yeah, so these players move in. Right, so watching that one. They're hitting there. Not as important as this one. Well, it's another player marking the ball carrier, so it's fairly important, but I think if you get rid of this one first, you've, you've got your easy out. You've got an easy out this way now, I suppose. Okay, just blocking there. That's worked out. Yeah, in the end, I suppose you can clear all of these off. Blitzing there. Three ice as well. You can go around, go in and score. Yeah, pretty good play in the end. It was well found. Just decide to clear everyone off rather than dodging. Which, I mean, it's more, it's rolling more dice and there's more, well, with no re rolls. It's probably riskier than just a 3 plus, three plus dodge rather than throwing three blocks, but, you know, it worked, is, is the main thing in the end. And Undead still up on players, that knockout comes back. So just three players up on what they had for the humans. Who've, I think a few times this season they've struggled with keeping players on the pitch. Found themselves a bit short. Uh, what are they on now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is 11 plays, 9, yeah, full squad for the Undead. The one casualty regenerated, uh, which was a death. So humans have got two turns, so being quite deep means it's going to be difficult for the humans to score because they've got the ghouls and the whites, you can all react. Um, these are quite easy blitz targets from in the terms of uh, maybe having people injured. These skeletons have forward one, one more space. It's only really the yoga who's going to get two dice anywhere. Unless the yoga's just moving in to use guard, but... Uh, at the moment, any any assist uh, is um, is a two dice. But there's a blitz, so this mummy who's free can come in there. Uh, they're going to be looking to blitz, say. So. Just shuffling forwards a bit. This dice going to land on the thrower. I think I, they could definitely have tried to pick off this lineman with their blitz. They've put the mummy in there as well. Who could maybe have come around this side to just make this harder. Uh, didn't take a blitz. Yeah, so just a big reshuffle. Where they, they, yeah, they could could have done much more with that. Yeah, so there's a blitz there. And they need to get people in scoring position. I think... What are they, oh, all their catchers injured. Uh... I thought they had three. I only see one on the bench. And I only see one there. Maybe, no, there are only two catchers, aren't there? Yeah, this catcher's got to be in scoring position. Got to go. Because um, if this fails, it doesn't. And if this fails, it doesn't. Okay, but now he's got to go forwards with no support. Um, yeah, they can't score at the moment. Yeah, they can't score. So it needed really to, to push further down this wing, get the catcher forwards, then get the ball to him uh, with with a screen of, of as many blitzers as you could get over this side. Um, yeah, the, with the catcher not moving, it was impossible to score by that point. And if he had gone down here, he'd have been on his own, he would have got blitzed. But, you know, maybe he stays up. He's got dodge. Um, and as it stands, uh, they go into half-time behind. It's in there. This player's currently not involved. One of these may blitz. Um, 
nobody is. Okay. Oh no, this mummy blitzed already. That's why. So we're just going to have some uh, some blocks. Maybe a pass. Can they level anyone with a pass? This lineman maybe, but he's marked by a mummy. There's mummy down. Um, we'll go two dice on this one. Yeah, gonna look at the mighty blow blitzer. Uh, two dice there. Using block. Yeah. Oh, go for a foul with the thrower. Okay. There's a lineman right there who could have done that. Yeah, that would have been less risky. Just got a stun. You throw a couple of fouls. That might, I think that's the first fouls I've, I remember seeing this coach throw. So maybe discovering that uh, late, late in the day. Could be wrong. They might have thrown some before. Yeah. So if humans want to win this, they're going to have to attack quite aggressively, score early, then try and get the ball back. Uh, a bit later on. Uh, using the quick snap to get away from the mummies. And yeah, showing this way. So there's still nine players. Undead still on 11. Oh, that's a bad start to the turn. That's a shame. <laughs> uh, we've all had that before. You think, oh, just get the ball. He's got sure hands, but yeah, double two. Oh, and a double skulls from the mummy. So yeah, could easily have made that three dice with these players who aren't going to do anything else. Might as well put the assists in, get three dice. Could even if you used the guard one to stand here, but it's with this mummy instead. They're a bit like we saw in the first half, they're engaging these players. It's going to hold them up, but it's giving away blocks. So we've got this catcher poised to uh, run down the wing. They're keeping a goal deep here at the moment. But who can respond to that? This is going to prevent the human switching wings by pushing forwards in the middle here. Yeah, controlling this bit of the pitch is, is important. That's, is that another immediate turnover? It's another trying to 3 plus straight away. I don't know if that was an accidental dodge, maybe. Now I have no reroll for the turn. Yeah, following up there is going to, get, going to get him hit next turn. They're going for... Got us throw in, go for the sprint down the wing this time. Which I could have done in turn seven, and maybe been one all by now. I need this blitzer to screen. Uh, I don't think you want to be rolling any more dice until this blitzer is screening over here. He's going to blitz though. Uh, this is on one dice, and it's a skull. Yeah, this blitzer is the only one who could cover here. <coughs> As it is, a couple of blocks will set up two dice on the ball. Uh, actually, no, only one because it's a catch row stretch two. Um, I was looking at if this one gets a push, you got an assist, but you don't need an assist. You just need this this zombie to push back here, and then you got your white who should be the one throwing this blitz because he's, a, he's got block. The catcher doesn't have block. It uh, makes it 55% knockdown rather than like 30, I think, to find a power on two dice. Uh, they are moving the goal back there anyway. So in fact, if you can make free up another assist, you can get three dice on the ball here. Um, you could maybe go for a pushback there, skeleton in there, white gets three dice, going with the two dice. With the cover of having an assist in place. Uh, that... Uh, oh yeah, good decision. Makes it much harder to get that white out. 
Um, yeah, following up would have just left him with a 3 plus dodge. Now he's got a 3 plus 4 plus. Sorry, 4 plus 3 plus. Um, has some rerolls. That's about all. Undead have left on a T shape here, which humans might be able to do something with. So, which could mean that um, Catcher doesn't need to dodge at all. But they might not have the players to be able to do it. It need some dodging. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's throw I can't reach. Two, three, four, five, six. Right, yeah, let's look at this. This is a nice chain push opportunity. Um, but he is going to need some dice. So this guy is a lineman, so he can go one, two, three, go for it, go for it. He could maybe, with two go for it, get there. And then you've got this guy who can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and a go for it. So three go for it, so you can get two dice on this guy. Um, if you get a pal, that's great. You push him into the white, you push the white there, the catcher runs in. If you only get a push, you push into the catcher, so the catcher goes there, and then he's just got a 3 plus dodge with a reroll rather than the two he's got at the moment to do that. So, but pushing this guy into one of these two is the, the ultimate unlock here, if you like. Um, but it's like um, it's just this guy this guy needs a three plus dodge and you've got team rerolls one two three four five six seven and two go for it's plus a three plus so ideally i think you want two three so it's three four five six seven eight so he needs to go for it to get to one of these two squares to assist and he needs to go for it to throw the blitz so three go for it's is better than um more go for, well the same at least the same amount of go for it's and the dodge from this guy even though it'd make the block slightly safer but you need you need this to be at least a push um i think that's the unlock there uh let's see what the human coach did though i don't because i have no idea uh so i'm moving this one down oh, okay that's the spot you need to blitz from throw has gone down blitzing over here so Blitz is your biggest opportunity to change what's happening uh, on the table, and this is where the game's happening. So the Blitz has got to be do doing something about this, really. Okay, just dodged out. Yeah, just just roll some four pluses. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, took, took harder play, but it worked a bit like... I mean, it was only slightly harder play when the, uh, the Undead scored. Uh, but they both worked fine, and it is one all. And humans still outnumbered by two. Uh, oh, we didn't swap ends at half time. We should be behind the humans now. Here's one one. Uh, and humans setting up for defence. So with their nine players. Yeah, just going in a line there. So these mighty blow blitzers on the end are blitzable. They're quite deep, so it's going to pull, um, well, two players forwards. Uh, who maybe the humans can then deal with sort of piecemeal. That's a blitz back. Yeah, so right around there, so they're going to hit this skeleton. Which is a great blitz target, especially as they're behind on numbers. If they can get an undead player off the pitch, could be pretty helpful. Skeletons are one of the more vulnerable players they've got. Um, Ogre bundles forward. That's going to tie up these players. But now I have bought. Yeah, I've come forward over here, so that's going to set up yeah, an L shape here would be helpful. Okay, so this this guy is much more blitzable than he was before, without the undead committing too far forwards with just one or two players. And then opening mummy block again, quite risky. Uh, humans are reduced having to put a blitzer on the line, which is a shame, but it's an unleveled one. There's two dots there. 
But again, we've got, I think, four, five block players on the undead team. None of them have taken any of those three blocks. Uh, one gets the fourth one, one of the ghouls. Okay, white dodging away. And I'm trying to go for it. Where's he going? Okay, that... That white achieved nothing doing all that. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus to gain absolutely nothing for that. Uh, except for just being there. Um, but yeah, it was really quite unnecessary throwing all those dice. So they got away with it. They still got their blitz in. I don't have the ball yet though. Um, and then last reroll uh, gets in the ball. So from here, really, Undead should win. They're the team who are in control of the game because they've got the ball, they've got more players. And, um, yeah, they've got five turns to ride it out and, and make sure they get a winner. So... Ogre Smash. Yeah. I think at least one of these blitzers around here, especially the tackle one. The tackle blitzer over here, yeah, would really scare this ghoul, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, two dice on that one. Only one dice on the ghoul. I don't know if that was a misclick or a. Uh, or some just some sort of error, um, but yeah, hitting that zombie is two dice. White's got two dice there, going with this skeleton though, which does, yeah, with the pal sets up two dice on the thrower. Okay, and both of these blitzes here does give the undead zone to think about if they're going to push forwards but they're not really a rush I think just get the ball in over here don't need to rush forwards just here this is a good spot yeah I think that's where we uh, may see a problem and now having both of these blitzers here yeah stand, so sitting down next to pro uh, standing the ball player net carrier next to prone players always fairly dangerous but also he's just open this is a quite easy for one dice on the ball um, I think you want mighty blow player here to take that assist out tackle guy coming to hit there two three four five six seven okay well I got tackle on him I think tackle hitting him would be better and then lots of standing up. Two dice with the ogre. I suppose it's safer than one dice. Oh, there's a double death. There's a... Oh, that's the block zombie. Uh, he's regenerating though. It's more ogre points. And then hit him with mighty play. And find a skull. Tackle guy would have got him down with that. A dodge away. So quite trapped in. And the cat catcher dodging is a bit safer than that one doing it, so it's maybe less well, well less risky to do it first. Okay, that's freed up a mummy. Is it gonna get them anywhere? Um I think they need they probably need to blitz this guy. This one, this one's marked. Yeah, because if they can get, you know, what we got here, I think, I think the play is probably one, two, three, four. I think the white in one of these spaces, this white, other white blitz is there. Yes, I think you want the white in there or there if you can't reach without going for it. This one in there to push there. Then you get the mummy with guard in there. 
Although guard's not relevant by that point because this guy's not there anymore. Because um, then this skeleton has got an assist to push into there and get rid of one of these other players as well. Uh, and that could hopefully clear a path for this this goal to get through. Because you're yeah, pushing into a T-shape all these spaces, you can push one, one another one away. Uh, gone for the handoff to the white, which worked. And that goal's gone into the end zone. They're going to try a white throw into the end zone. moving through he's going for the throw it's a five plus though and yeah, I found it no reroll that's really really risky all right humans can come get that this has got to be the blitz target ghoul is down Probably, yeah, this is going to be the blitz, and then the throw, I come pick the ball up. Yeah, well, it's down. Try has the ball. Now, getting it safe. Throwing this blitz is in a tackle zone. He's caught it. Uh, he's got a dodge now. No re-rolls. Did it, though. Blitzer runs away with it. I'm sure the uh, human coach is enjoying that this is Clive Mendonca who's running away with the ball here and there's no catching him at this point either. They got everything they needed there. Uh, yeah. Oh, mummy, mummy just smashes again. Third casualty of the game for that mummy. Uh, yeah, what was the pass? Was the pass? I think the pass was a f five plus that they got. I'll go for it. Was he ch yeah, he's chasing down the blitzer. Uh, where was it? Oh, it's just, oh, it's just a three plus pass. Oh, he's got accurate. Yeah, okay, and it was a bit shorter than I thought. So he's running away. Yeah, no catching that. That's going to be the winner in turn 16. Put it there on the white. Over he goes. It's a mighty blow hit. Uh, doesn't get anything though. And yet, yeah, can protect some of these players. So it's going to force the mummy to roll dice if it wants to blitz anyone. And dodging away. Knight's taking the one dice. It's safer than dodging uh, with the block player. Okay, so this lineman uh, on the receiving end of this rampaging mummy, no hit that time, no armor break rather, and there's our winner. Not sure what that sound was, sounded like someone slapping something. Maybe a part of the celebration I missed. Uh, yeah, so one turn for the undead. Undead, undead can can do a bit of one turning if they were inclined, especially with a movement eight call. Cool. Uh, yeah, would need to generate three chain pushes to nudge it forwards. I think one, two, three. Hang on, one, two, three. Yes, that one, two, four, six, eight, and two go for it. So yeah, you need to push it forwards three times if you're going to do it. Um. Humans are set up about as good as they can to defend against that. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing that tried, though. Um, a riot could be interesting, though. They've got both ghouls here who can get forwards into scoring position if they do have two turns. Um, that would make a pass harder. It's a touchback, though. Yes. Grabbing a touchback if you were going to try and one turn would be uh, absolutely ideal, but we're not, we're not going to see that tried. 
just some smashing, and then uh, I imagine a pass uh, attempt. Three dice from the mummy, there we go. That's what we like to see. Could have had this mummy set up over here for uh, to do the same, but he's got three dice on that one anyway. After the pushback from the first one, got two dice there. Handing off to him. Uh, I could have just given the touchback to this guy if you want to throw a pass for the level. Would have eliminated a. a um, uh, I didn't make the pass. Yeah, would eliminate a dice roll. Just give the touchback to that guy if you want to, you want to pass. Uh, but yeah, there we go. 2 1. Skeleton MVP levels. Oh, all this mighty blow guy levels too. Um, shame he's in agility 2 1, but he's uh, starting to look quite nasty. Uh, big out blocking for the undead. I think we saw, um, yeah, we did see a lot more humans removed from the pitch. One of them was ascending off, but um, yeah, four casualties, including the ogre who was a puzzle grid. Um, and the one knockout, yeah, two casualties for the humans though. They chipped in a bit. I think they were both regenerated, so it didn't really affect the numbers that much. The humans won it, even with less players. Generated a few points. Um, I think this is a thrower, isn't it? So he made three passes. Two touchdown scorers. Casualty, casualty and MVP, I guess. Um, yeah, there we go. That is uh, That closes out our semi-finals. Close that one. So everyone who's played the semi-finals has tickets to accept. Uh, and we'll have our third place games and uh, our finals. Um, have a bit of a preview of what they are. Um, hmm, how best to do this? Actually, I'm going to get the um, the standings back up because we can see what which teams they are. Because yeah, without the uh, invites being accepted, we uh, we can't see the, the games. Uh, so they all lost their semi-final to the Dark Elves. They'll play the Amazons for third place uh, at the top. Uh, High Elves and Dark Elves both won their semi-finals, and they're they're the two teams in the final. And then down at the bottom with the other four, so we just saw the humans win their semi-final. Uh, Skaven won theirs as well, so humans meet Skaven uh, to decide 5th place and Chaos against Undead to divide, decide 7th place. Uh, that is where we will stand um, and I think the next game in this will hopefully be a 3rd place. I'd like to do the 3rd place games before the finals, even if the finals are played first. I'll probably delay uh, covering them uh, or uploading them at least, but yeah, I'll hopefully get them in that order.